Okay, today I thought I'd show you how I make my fire starters for when I go camping. I'm certainly not going to bring along the uh, flint and steel every time I want to start a fire. So these are just uh, like Dixie cups, paper cups that I got from Wise with sawdust and paraffin wax. So in order to do this, you will need some cheap cups, cheap as they have. These are Wise brand, maybe a couple bucks. A package of golf wax, um, which was six bucks and something to melt the wax in. This is something I found in the woods that somebody had put in a junk heap so it was free. So, free, a um, little bit of money, a little bit of money, and the sawdust I get for free because I have a pellet stove um, over there that generates lots of dust, a bucket full at least in the winter time. So, I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so out of this package, this one pound package of wax. I'm going to use two of these, which will make about 16 of these fire starters. You're supposed to do it in a double boiler system, or, which is where you put a pot of, you boil a pot of water and then you would set this on top. <clears throat> when you do that, you're guaranteed that the temperature is not going to go over um, 212 or 220, whatever it is that water boils at. It says on the package, that it could ignite if it's overheated so you have to be really careful now I don't do the double boiler system I just use the small burner and I'll put it on medium until the wax melts and then I'll just put it on low so I don't want to overheat the wax because I definitely don't want it bursting into flame Okay, so it looks like that after you've stirred it up. So every piece of sawdust is saturated. You want enough wax in there so that when this dries, these um, pieces of sawdust won't spill out of there. And you want enough, I'm gonna put a little more sawdust in the next one, excuse me, but you want enough so that you can light this paper. What I will do is turn it on its side. I will light that paper, let this start to burn, and then I will pile wood on top of it and it's guaranteed to work. It will always work. Okay, on this batch, I got 12 of them. I've gotten 16 in the past, but two things. Um, before I only filled these up halfway, which is good, because then you got plenty of paper to burn. Um, I wanted to try a little more sawdust because I wanted them to burn longer once they get going. Also, I had my leaky wax uh, melting pan, um, so that wasted some wax. And next, I'll show you how they burn. Okay, so here's one I made the other day, so let's see how that burns. And what I do when I go canvas, I just set it on the side and I light the paper. So let's see how that works. It's a little windy out here. Ouch. So I just lit the paper like I said and I'm waiting for the uh, wax and sawdust to start burning. Oh dear, windy! Smell the wax burning. And I believe that is lit. So I'll turn the camera off and we'll see how long it burns like that for. Okay, that's about three minutes into the burn. Okay, here we are about ten minutes into the burn and I'm done watching it. I just don't feel like standing out here anymore. Um, for one, I don't feel like standing out here anymore. And for two, your campfire would already be lit by now. And for three, once your campfire does light, it's going to melt all that wax in there, the whole pile is going to collapse, 
and you're going to have an extremely intense flame underneath your campfire and you're going to have a nice hot fire and so they work really well. They do not burn like these fire logs, they're much dirtier but I guarantee that will get your fire going um, trouble free. One or two matches and one of these and even some wet wood and you'll have a fire. So there you have it.